Hi, High School, thanks for joining us. I'm Bailey Shelburne. And I'm Tori Krogh, and you're watching this week's Eye of the Needle. Have you noticed how ice cold the water is in the sinks by the bathrooms? Kaylee Papple, our editorial cartoonist, has created a cartoon depicting the cold water issue we have in our sinks. You can see the cartoon on ahsneedle.com. Does the cold water bother you? Leave a comment and tell us how you feel. As you all know, semester tests will be taking place next week. Periods 1, 2, and 4 will test Tuesday, 5, 6, and 8 will be Wednesday, and 3 and 7 are on Thursday. Good luck to everyone on their tests. Last Thursday, boys tennis attended regionals. Grant Podiski and Cooper McDermott qualified for state for doubles. Congratulations. Girls tennis hosted the Hawkeye 10 meet on Monday, which was postponed until yesterday due to rain. They will attend regionals on Thursday. On Monday, girls soccer trumped Riverside with a score of 9-1. to one. The two records for the most goals the team has scored in a game and for most goals scored in a season were broken. Way to go, ladies. They return to the field tomorrow at Carroll and also Friday at Glenwood. Also on Monday, the boys' soccer team took a tough overtime loss to Kemper with a score of 2-3. to three. The boys' next game is tomorrow at Lewis Central. Last Friday, boys' golf came out on top at sectionals with a score of 302. Ben Reno and Jay Golson had a playoff for medalist, and Ben Reno came out on top. Zach Stork wrestled at Southeast Polk last Sunday at the USA Freestyle State Meet. Zach finished with a record of 4-1, and one, with every win coming by technical fall. His third overall finish landed him a spot at the USA National Junior Freestyle Wrestling Tournament. Congratulations, Zach. Here's a video of the state track send-off. Good luck to all runners. Some pictures of the 2016 seniors send off. Good luck to all of you and your future plans. Until next year, make this summer count, AHS. Bring it back in. <laughs>